Adios Antibiotics, jumping on the good for you food bandwagon, Purdue Food, is putting an end to using antibiotics in almost all of its chicken. The cut is expected to cost customers, but Purdue won't confirm exactly how much. Here now is Dr. Debbie, assistant professor at NYU School of Medicine. Why did they use the antibiotics in the first place? Well, so there's some evidence that it helps plump up the chicken. So it's probably to actually get a bigger chicken, maybe a tastier chicken. Wow, uh, I thought that's what the hormones were for. I think they both do the same thing. So it's a combination of things that actually gives you the bigger chicken, but. And yeah. I was surprised to read that they were using human antibiotics, and that's what they're getting rid of, but they're going to continue to use the animal antibiotics? Exactly. So I don't know. I think this is a step in the right direction, but it's still not like we're completely having antibiotic-free chicken. Is there, uh, and there, I assumed, I was assumed <laughs> it had something to do with killing bacteria. Exactly. I didn't realize it was only about making them bigger. Yeah, so, I mean, it's not safe anyway to be on antibiotics all the time to kill bacteria. I mean, for us, even, why don't we take antibiotics every day? It's because we have good bacteria that help us you know so we have bacteria in our gut that help us digest food when we eat these chickens that have been exposed to antibiotics we're basically kind of altering our gut and all the bacteria that are in our system too so is there what was, is that the only harm to humans no, or are those are I mean, another the, reason yeah that's one of the harms but the bigger thing is antibiotic drug resistance so if the chicken is exposed to these different antibiotics and then we eat the chicken we're getting exposed to them in a low dose too so the main thing is it's kind of it works like a vaccine so imagine, yeah. yeah, when you get the measles or mumps vaccine as a child, what you're getting is a small dose of a virus that will allow you to fight it later if your body ever runs right. into it again. So the same thing happens in this case. But where, if you flip that over, then why do I ever get sick? If I'm eating chicken that has antibiotics in it, I should never get sick. Well, exactly. It's working. Well, so the bacteria, what happens is they actually develop, you know, they get vaccinated against these antibiotics. So it mm. basically gives them kind of a cure, a way that they can fight right. antibiotics. So that makes us sick in the End. Our other big story, everybody on your feed, a new study says that standing may be the key to staying young. I don't know about this. It could even be better at staving off old age than exercising. <laughs> I, 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 tell, I mean, so all I have to do is stand at my desk. I'm not sure which is a better deal, by the way, but do you yeah. buy into this one? Well, I, it definitely makes a difference. So, I mean, common sense tells us that maybe our bodies aren't meant to sit all day, you know, for hours and hours a day. So what the new evidence is showing is that muscles, when they stand, they actually can do different things to prevent the aging process. So, But it says it protects your DNA. Exactly. I have a hard time believing that. Yeah, so these scientists actually looked at the DNA under a microscope. So normally, you know, scientists define aging in different ways. I mean, we think of aging sometimes as a cell, basically, you know, duplicating its DNA and then splitting in half and forming two cells. So the more often that that happens, you know, the faster that you're aging. So in people who were standing for longer, that process was slowed down. So what they were looking at is every time that the cell splits, a little bit of the DNA, a little bit of that code at the very ends, it's something called telomeres, they're lost. Uh. So if you can keep that uh, process slowed down and hold on to your telomeres, it actually slows down the aging so process. So if I stand on my desk, can I quit exercising? That's what I want to know. <laughs> I wouldn't necessarily say that. I wouldn't oh, go that it. far. All right, forget it. Then I don't want to do it. Forget it. Forget it. All right, Dr. Debbie, thank you so much.